Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the General Bander Podcast. A uh, quick mention from our sponsors, as usual, Manscaped.com are on board. Uh, they've stuck with us through thick and thin. And speaking of thick, get rid of them pubes. Uh, <laughs> Manscaped, as you know, world's leading uh, device when it comes to grooming your downstairs. They've got the Lawnmower 4.0, they've got the Weed Whacker, they've got the whole business when it comes to uh, declogging your nut bag. And uh, what I would suggest is go on there, get your care package. They send you out a lovely leather papoose with all the gear in it. Lawnmower 4.0, weed whacker, ball toner, ball deodorant, boxers. They got the whole heap. And if you listen to this podcast, um, use the code GEMBANT1, get 20% off your purchase. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, they're not giving these things away. So 20% off is quite a substantial chunk and you should be taking substantial chunks out of that bush. Because the summer's coming up and you want to hit those beaches with a gleaming set of testes. But they've got a whole new range of products now too. They've got shampoos. They've got all sorts of wet shave gear. And, uh, you know, they're also they're also uh, quietly saying you can use this on your downstairs if you're a lady. You know? Let's face it, no real... No real difference in material when it comes to flaps and nuts. So you can you can take that lawnmower 4.0 to whatever whatever pubic surface you have. But that's it, my guys. Manscaped.com, use the code jambat one get 20% off. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the General Butler Podcast. My guest today, Maureen, by popular demand. Woohoo. You're back. I'm taking my glasses off. Oh, you're taking yours off and I have glasses on? I'm going to, we're starting this oh. podcast as if uh, Niall just didn't tell us two real juicy bits of info there. He's like fucking Perez Hilton in the corner there. <laughs> yeah. TMZ. I was like, can I talk about this? No. Can I talk about this? No. So I'm just, I don't know what to talk about now. Wow. TMZ. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? Tenor, if you know what TMZ st- stands for. Um... No, I don't. I really don't. I've thrown, que- I've thrown that question out like I was confident. I think I know what it is. Let me, let me <laughs> you don't even check. know. No, I do you know. Oh, what, let me see. This is a great way to start a podcast. What <laughs> does TMZ stand for? Is it like a phrase? I'm going to say three mile zone. 30 mile zone. Ooh. Originated in the 60s when due to the growth of location shoots, studios established a 30 mile zone to monitor rules for filming in Hollywood. So there you go. Join us next week for more facts. Oh, well, wow. there you go. Uh, you're back. You're, you're the only person wearing does You know, I used to joke around with you, like, um, you know, people were slagging me for you being the podcast. Now, you're the only one doesn't get negative comments now. Uh, I know everyone's very, actually, very nice to me, which is yeah. lovely. Very nice to Thank you. They're you. always good to see us get their back. It's nice know? to see that there's still nice people in the world and there's kindness out there, you know? Yes. Um, we're in a we're in a, a beanie in this weather. This yeah, we we're in a beanie. we ticked over the other day from this office needs like you need like four coats on to you need air conditioning. It's gonna get sweaty. Just happened though. I did so my week by week. You'll just see you wearing less less clothes. So yeah. it'll be vest vest next week. Vest next week, and then by about mid July, <clears throat> nipple tassels. It'll be just me with two stickers on my nips. Yeah, because you can't cap them out. That's the only reason I haven't run a marathon yet. Is it? Yeah, because it it, Cause it attacks your nips. Is your main concern in life your nips? <laughs> yeah. Is your main concern <laughs> is your nips? Nipple welfare and uh, <laughs> preservation is, is high on my list of things. It holds you back from a lot, doesn't it? I swear, I, I wouldn't. I, like, oh, come Never mind the lactic acid buildup and the pain <laughs> or whatever. See, see, see any little, anything would have me walk off a marathon. If I, if I was like three minutes into it and I realised like one of my shoes was a little bit tighter than the other or something. You I would take just, the shoe off and lob it. I'd just take a hard left and do Mickey D's. Well, my sister Susie did the relay mm-hmm. um, and she said because you had to be there like so early in the morning, she had like leave the house at like five basically to get to Belfast, to get to her point, whatever. She was the second leg of it, like the longest leg. By the time it started and then, you know, she's waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and she's like, by the time she got started, she goes, I was dying to go to the toilet and she couldn't, there was no toilets near her. So she had to go into Victoria Square because it was a Sunday morning, it was closed and she's like, I actually can't believe this. So she just had to run on and she did find one. She goes, my time was so long because I just had to go to the toilet. Unbelievable. Because she'd waited so long to get started. I would do the full Paula Radcliffe. That she just, she's like, what am I going to do? Pull my shorts to the side and just unleash. So did that though, but yeah. Unleash the dogs of war. Yeah, but I think that's not really appropriate if you're just doing like a relay and you're doing whatever, seven miles, whatever she did, nine I would just, miles, I would be shitting miles, on the street going, like I'm an athlete. I've been doing a lot of shit in the street. Uh, 
Speaking of Vic- Victoria Square, I was in there yesterday now buying a new phone. Oh yeah. Because uh, unnecessary. What, what's that? Um, what's that thing called? Something gear syndrome, gear acquisition syndrome. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's just when you're just like, you know. I'll, I'll, Have you made that up? You know, I'll be like, I'll me? be like, I'll I'll make more uh, films if I buy a new camera. You know, one of those ones. Yeah. When you when you would should be doing it anyway. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it's like when you need new pens to start your homework, and you're like, I yeah. can't because my notebook's dirty, and I need another pen. I think there's method in tidy, you know, like tidying a workspace before you get into work. Yeah. There's 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 logic in that. Um. Anyway, I was in Victoria Square yesterday, Niall, and a, a pigeon the size of a Gilbert rugby ball <laughs> flew into a glass thing <laughs> and hit the ground. Like I I, w- I would actually. Believe it or not, I would hate to see what it sounded like if a body hit the floor. Because this pigeon fucking wallop and it hit the ground. And uh, I was saying to you last night, morning, screaming is annoying, isn't it? Because this girl, this girl was like, she witnessed a murder. Like she turned around like, ah, ah. <laughs> And I was like, that's more stressful than just fucking, I had to put it in a bin. But you know, I didn't really, didn't touch it. You go, what did you say? You're like screaming, you're like. Who are you doing that for? Yeah, who's it for? Like it's you're pure. going, you're screaming for other people. And I was like, right enough, maybe scre- screaming kind of is that. There is an involuntary scream, but then the, that like, but the you know, conti- girl she, squeal- she, squealing thing I would is understand for if it people. hit you on the shoulder and you went like, ah, fuck. Yeah, like But she went like, out. ah, yeah, ah. <laughs> and I was like, what's happening here? <laughs> you know? you should have just went out of everything. Like, Shut up. You obviously don't care. You're just le- leaving it there to die. You know, if she was like, yeah. ah, not another pigeon. Was and it then, your pigeon? You know, she's over here like, <laughs> it would just blow up. With not Dave. <laughs> trying to give my, my a pigeon. Oh. It would just be like, like a bagpipe. No, oh, no. But it looked, it looked like a big pigeon. You know, like, you know, the way you see the wee, uh, the wee smeggy, like city pigeons with one oh, foot, gross, no, where yeah. it's like landed on an electric line. And just, <laughs> ah, ah, my fucking foot. This was this looked they're like they're always wrecked, like the whole, no, they're oh, stinking, oh. like they're just zombie pigeons, like good name for a band, right? That there, <laughs> but the uh, yeah, like, no, it looked a little more like one you'd see down our neck, you know, like a big one, maybe like a oh. is, that a, is that a dove, technically? No, but you can get different types of pigeons. What's, you the, mean? what's the bigger, more luxurious looking pigeon? Like if the if the, be, if the Belfast city pigeon, <laughs> pigeon was like a battered old corsa. Mm. This one's more like an S class mark, you know. It's big, plush. That's what it was. It was big anyway. It hit the floor pretty hard, and I looked at my face was like this, like, and then I looked up and looked at this girl, and she was looking at me, and I just was like, <laughs> and then I just walked on. You should have just started screaming at her. Yeah, and that screaming made, back at her. Yeah, it would made it all really so mad that people would just go, "Hold on a second. She just picked it up, but <laughs> <laughs> help me. <laughs> Somebody help me! You should have went away. Put your phones down! <laughs> I nearly had my phone out. Put your phone! Somebody help! <laughs> Quickly! My Parkins just went up to 1160! <laughs> <laughs> also, nobody can park in oh, fucking Victoria no. Square. Like, whatever way they've. Does, you know, you've parked in there now? Oh, yeah, it's a nightmare. But, like, they've, they've drawn a. a they paint the space. They, they, they put a rectangle, right? Which obviously you're kind of supposed to, like, say that's it. You're supposed to like hover your car over the square. But people, I think people go, is that the edge of the space? The edge of that black thing? And then they park like kind of over, over two, yeah. and you're like, man, nobody can park around here. And that's me saying that I can't park at all. It makes more sense to paint out a box and go put your car on the box. But then people just think of the lines, don't they? It makes more They're sense. They're just, just so go, used to doing the line thing, and then people still park over lights. But they have a pillar every two seconds so oh, it's like just put a fucking split down it and then I'll know where to park instead of people coming. Ever since going to that one and I would consider myself quite a good driver been driving a long time and that that one at the point yeah. in Three Arena yeah. never felt stress like it. It was pigeon screaming stress. Yeah. <laughs> I just couldn't I couldn't it was just it was like curbed really thinly curbed around yeah. it and it doesn't make sense if you're in a jeep. Like it just doesn't make sense. You just cannot get around those corners. It was so stressful. Yeah. I just I can't I, I can't even think about it. It was so stressful. Yeah. 
And then Daddy was saying like a lot of car parks are based on like years ago when cars were really small. But this is a reasonably new one. Like. I know, but it doesn't matter. I think it's just sometimes they're just like, there we go, that's what we do. We'll put the curbs to keep people right. But it's are they just... basing car parks on like you're, you're pulling up and fucking like only fools and horses? <laughs> <laughs> and now you fucking yellow wagon with one yeah, wing? Literally ho- horses and carts, yeah. <laughs> just, a car, well, a horse and a car be fucking enormous. Mm. You're like, I don't need a horse and a car in here. I'm just trying to get my, my little Seat in here. <laughs> can I not just park it? But you can tell by the pillars, like all the paint on it. All. Years of paint, oh. years of scuffage. It's just just no. squeaking by. Can't deal with it now. And then after the trauma of the pigeon, I had to go for a meeting um, where a guy. And I know you that you'd be in a meeting and all your brain be going, "Oh my god, pigeon, pigeon dead!" Someone screaming, "Pigeon dead, pigeon dead!" No, I got over. Pretty, your brain would just be like, "I got over it pretty quick." Did you? Is that uh, why you haven't mentioned it? I was with the management, and uh, this motherfucker has a four-shot decaf with like hot milk or something. And I had a coffee, and I had already had a coffee at the house, and he was like, he goes, do you want another coffee? And I was like, no, I'm all good. And he goes, come on, when we'll go mad with coffee. And I was like, you're not even drinking coffee. <laughs> you're just drinking hot fucking water. You lunatic, I'll shit myself. <laughs> You'll just need a p- piss later on. And then a guy walked past a plastic bag and was like, you're your man, aren't you? Which is, answer that question. I know. You're, yeah. you're yourself, aren't you? It's you, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and he's gonna go, uh, and, and he's, he's going to go and... Uh, Speak to someone else and be like, seen, seen your guy Colin Gellis, weirdo. Yeah. What'd you say to him? I went, you're your man. And he looked at me like like he'd just seen a dead pigeon. <laughs> I know. What about people? What about people? Oh. Yeah. Is it you, is it? What? Any other crack, Maureen? Yeah. What about that Jeep, the Jesus Jeep we seen this morning? It's like an old Jeep and it's, it had like a little stickers on it. It's like mercy and compassion. <laughs> On, yeah, it's funny for a road sticker, isn't it? Like, you know, is the guy super holy or does he, like, work for a church or what? I don't know. You probably hear this and fucking reach out. Yeah, I probably saw I us. didn't like your comments about my Jeep, my Christ-themed Jeep. But you went out your way to get a sticker there, you know? Oh, yeah. You're making a point mm-hmm. about it. Yeah. And this is probably what he wants, a bit of coverage. Anyway, what else have we been at this week, Maureen? We had your mum's 60th. Are we allowed to talk about that? Yeah. Someone someone asked in the comments, like, uh, mm-hmm. you know, how do you feel about missing the Austin trip? I, I mean, I've been on the phone with, with Aaron. Has, has Aaron spoke to you or phoned you or texted you or anything? No. I mean, like, talk about being just a fucking support group on the other end of the phone. We'll not get into it too much because I dare say we'll talk about it in depth mm. in the in the Bomb Squad pod. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I've just been an agony aunt on the other end of the phone with him. Yeah. He's just drama after drama. And then the, the odd text, like, I'm his dad going, like, can you send me money? <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? I know. Oh, I that. Uh, you got, I got that. that one. You got that text. <laughs> you just text everyone looking money. Are <laughs> uh, you coming crawling back now? You, know, you spunked all your money in a strip club. <laughs> you fucking dirty bastard. Uh, no, let's let's talk about the edge here. Oh wait a minute. This is another podcast. Um, under the pre- under the time pressure of a sandwich, we, we were getting into the weeds about the edge here documentary. Um, we, we watched it last mm. night. Also, thoughts? Thoughts. I mean, like, he's a bit like Lewis Capaldi, where as a guy, I'm like, he seems like a cool guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sort of, you know? But then there are moments where I'm just like, bro. And I know it's Disney. And it, like, you'll, you'll watch it now and go, like, there's definitely a lot of production interference here, mm. you know, because obviously he's very sad about his friend dying. And you go, absolutely, absolutely, be sad. But then there's a lot of like, could we get a bit where um, we just pull up on this memorial for him and you just walk up and put some flowers down and stare at it for as long as we need for the shot? Yeah. You know, there's just a few bits like that. Where and it was like, just like one random dude walking past with like flip flops like this. Yeah, just looking at the camera, we, like we, trying we, to like, walk out of it. Asian guy doing the old like, <laughs> where should yeah. I walk? Uh, there's a bit of that. But yeah, but the, the one bit when he was talking about his, his, his wife being sick, relatable. Uh, Do you know about your present? What did she get? Doesn't... What did she get? Arm cancer? I don't know. They just said. Is there a part? Is there a part of you, someone who's had cancer treatment, goes like arm cancer? No, I normally just go like, <laughs> oh, you didn't have to. At least you just got your chopped chopped right. off. <laughs> That's She's the genuine. It seems easier. Got the robot arm, but there's a bit where like you know uh, he found out. I shouldn't be laughing at this, but you know what I mean. We enjoy it. We enjoy the darkness. Um, <laughs> He's like, he's like, yeah, I did this and, you know, find out that she was sick. I thought she was just going in to get a, like, 
you know, like a fucking cyst removed or something that turned out to be cancerous or whatever. And then she was like, yeah, it was so upset that he just went down into the basement and wrote like seven songs in four hours. And I was like, well, that's cool. You know what I mean? But then also, you know, imagine, you know, <laughs> like imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess what they did a biopsy and that it's cancer. And he's like, <laughs> I gotta go. Ding, 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 ding. Like down to the basement. That's what you said. You're like, like, could you? I, I could had a baby at this stage. Well. <laughs> she's pregnant and she's just found out she had cancer. And he's going, Well, good luck. I'm away down to the basement, dear. Hope you're all right. And then, and then the like song was like, like <laughs> <laughs> and the, I don't know, like, fair play. He has a couple of bangers, but I mean, Jesus Christ. Rain on my window. You know, you're just like yeah. It's all like but rain and close my eyes and rain and close my eyes and all. But you just couldn't deal with it because you hate anything acoustic. This is, <laughs> this is Ed Sheeran. Like Warren's just say, um, unfortunately, your granny's passed away. Unfortunately, your granny has passed away. Fuck's sake! He just, every every bad news. He's seen that pigeon hit the thing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to deal with this? No, I'm singing. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> we need to go to the doctor's appointment. We can't. We've got songs. <laughs> Your child is sick. Oh, not again. And, we, and you noticed that, that that. Yeah, it sounds like Flight of the Concords. Sing. Is that the oh, song Sing? Who's to eating? me, it just sounds like Flight of the Concords. Who's eating? <laughs> That's all I think about. But uh, I mean, he has been taken up for it awful lot of copyright he has but you know what i mean i think once you get so successful and like it is it is, it well, is if you mad, write nine thousand songs yeah at least eight thousand we're gonna sound like other people but also like you know it's mad because he's sitting at home he's like yeah just having a little beer and then two seconds later he's like playing to seventy eight thousand people in yes, poland impressive. and then he just flies home and then he's back like with his mates again it is a crazy life yeah. and it's a crazy big machine yeah. and everybody getting involved and he's got multiple songwriters. Like, they might go, Ed Sheeran, you fucking ripped this song off. And he's like, well, there was like nine people in the room right, yeah. writing it with me. So what the fuck were they listening to? You know? And you forget, like, <clears> most <throat> people do write in a room with other people. So, like, they can see that you're just riffing and making it yeah. up. So, like, yeah. That's the, because the argument was, yeah. you know, there's no way you could have written this in half an hour. And he's like, do you know my, <laughs> do you know my songs I've knocked out? It's I, like, I it's can easy. Write a song. I just listen to other songs and then I write a song and <laughs> yeah. somehow it's listen, a whatever, different song. Whatever it takes in real time <laughs> for me to write the lyrics out from listening to it. So about half an hour. Really. Is he the like, you know, copying someone else's homework of music? Just like, it's not the same, but I've been able to do it better by taking all your good ideas. And just well, can't wait to see own. the next documentary. He just walks into a room with a computer and he's like, chat GBT, write an Ed Sheeran song. <laughs> Rain on my something, miss you. Never touch a thing and touch a fucking stuff and miss you. Love you, but I can't. <laughs> I'll be in a basement. Oh well, <laughs> just that easy. Uh, I'll tell you, the only thing keeping anyway. me in it now was um, every time, every new scene. He had a new watch on that was nice. worth at least a hundred grand. Yeah, can't get me. Did just, you see that watch? Like he, they, would, they, would, they would be following him. Like he'd be like walking down the thing. I'll just take you down to my bar. And he, he walks down the hallway and he's wearing like, a, you know, that ceramic blue. Be a, sure no, AP or whatever. Yeah. And then he like turns the corner <laughs> and then he's got the Daytona on. He's like, oh, it's casual. It's casual Tuesdays or whatever. What do you say? He had the Tiffany whatever one. He had that Tiffany Patek Philippe. And the the like, Nautilus. Someone could just go up and cut his arm off and that's a million pounds. <laughs> no joke. Like if you just, like, the, I think they made a hundred of those and there were, it was like a bit of a, a bit of a quest to see who actually bought it. They were like, oh, LeBron James has one. Oh, Jay-Z has one. But you could just fly past on a scooter with a machete and go shunk and then take it and be like, this is worth like a million and a so half. Give people ideas. I'll just give, uh, and they just walk in somewhere and be like, do you want, can you give me 300 grand for this? And they go, no bother. Holy shit. And the arm's got all fucking Ed Sheeran's tattoos on <laughs> <laughs> You saw his arm, like. <laughs> Did you steal this? Nah. Are you sure? Just put a few, put it up your jumper. <laughs> it's got like a fucking Heinz ketchup logo, and one of, I mean, talk about, hey, bro, I've got some shitty tattoos, but uh, hey, he's taking the biscuit. Do you know what was another nice opportunity yeah. as well when he when when he went down to Ipswich? <clears throat> Have you been to Ipswich? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I went through it like a fucking tornado. <laughs> Quite an off spot. Yeah. It looks quaint nice. and pretty. It looks yeah, it pretty. looks pretty. They, 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 Friendly? 
Would you say friendly? Yeah. Have, friendly. have we been in Ipswich? No. Do you remember we were at your uncle's house and he took us to like a wee time? What time is that? That was... Uh, I can't remember what it's called now. No, it's not. It's not Ipswich. No, it's something big of a C. Chichester. Chichester. Ch- Ch- Chichester, so Winchester, so <laughs> Chichester. Well, that's very close. No, oh, because the. Do you know we why I said that? We got the. We went to Chichester, and then we got the because that's very close to my uncle, and then that's where we went to Brighton from there, didn't we? Uh, we got the train from Brighton. Nice. Now, when I say this place was pumping. Brighton? I'm lying. No, it's Chichester. Chichester. <laughs> there was some pumping in Brighton. <laughs> it was. Oh, oh there. <laughs> Pumpsville. <laughs> Pump City. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Is that close to them? I suppose they are, yeah. It's all little places outside London. The south of England? Would that be all the south of England? Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, even that bit where he, he went into the Ipswich and he's like, let's go play a show. And... Uh, Everyone was like, hello, Ed. You know, it was very like, they were yeah. like, are you really just going to do that? And he's like, yeah. Start singing the song. But then he, he hands off the, the Loudon to some child. You know, he's like, is this your guitar? And he's like, yeah. And he goes, what age are you? 10. He goes, do you play every day? And he's like, yeah. And he goes, if I give you this one, will you promise to play every day and make him practice? And I was just thinking, eBay, eBay, <laughs> eBay, eBay. Can practice on any guitar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Money is He's nice 10, he can't play anyway. <laughs> he's not Asian, he can't play yet. If he was ten and Asian, give him a guitar. But he's just white, so give him a minute. You know what I mean? Oh my god! <laughs> Behind every good musician, like really good technical musician, is there just a parent going, "They may live my dreams." <laughs> oh yeah, a lot of times I would say. You ever think about that? Like you see some <clears throat> mad fucking rock star up there with his leather pants with a piece down one side and the nuts down the other, ripping it, and you're like, nerd. Yeah, but of course, that's why I said the other day. Like, you forget anyone you see is like cool at music and stuff. You're like, they're all being like children learning music. Like, yeah. having to sit in their room learning music. Like now? That's impressive. <laughs> yeah, like Rockstar now. Yeah. TMZ now over here. You think he just fucking rolled out of bed and picked up this thing and started shredding? <laughs> nah, man. Days and weeks in a dark room in there a cage, go. being thrown fish heads under the door, <laughs> shredding. Do you ever see that video with uh, your boy, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and his hand is just completely black? Oh, Jesus. Did you ever see that? No. No, I don't know. Was he big into smoking, chasing the old dragon, was he? Oh, he was, I. Was he? Well, then it's probably him. Oh. He didn't or shred. He used to bomb, you know, like bomb cocaine. He put it in cigarette wrappers. Oh, my God. And it all crystallized in his stomach, and that's how he died. <gasps> Brutal. Oh, that's not nice. As well, you should. Mom, you know, yeah. you want to fucking, you want to shred in this life? <laughs> Take some more fucking drugs. That was my point yesterday. I was like, listen to Ed Sheeran. I was like, this does nothing. I was like, how can you be just be a guy with a guitar? And then some guys with guitars, you're like crying on a bus. You know? Oh, you were saying, uh, what were you saying? Because he was talking about Damien, Damien Rice, Rice or something. And you're like, how can he just be like, I'm in the basement having a crank. And... <laughs> It's short for cry wank. I know. And then you got like a Damien Rice or something where like the just first the, couple of bars of it, you're like, oh God, so are you so looking at that again? What are you doing to Damien? Yeah, what is that? And so it is. Yeah, I've, seen, I've seen the movie. Yeah. One line into it, I've, seen, I've, went, I've went through the whirlwind heartbreaking romance. Yeah. And then he's over here just being like, I wet my tana. <laughs> <laughs> he's caught. I don't, I don't fuck, but you know. Uh, yeah. Like he gives a flying fuck, you know. Uh, but the watch game, you know, just to bring it back to reality, watch game serious. Even yeah. the wife, like even the wife, you know, she. Oh, did she have a nice watch on? Every fucking scene. Every it was like it was. Did uh, she have different ones on or one? Loads. Did she? Loads. There was one of them that was like Fresh. a black, uh, thirty-six mil Royal Oak, with like wee rose gold sort of embellishments on it. Oh. And it's like it's like probably like one of one or something, like a real limited thing yeah yeah obviously he's, well he is into watches because he did he give one to who did he give one to was it stormzy did he give someone a watch probably them i've, boys, see, I've them seen boys. a video before where he's like here i got you like this watch that's what they all do which one so he gives someone even like stormzy give dave a fucking watch and you know what i mean they all buy each other watches I've all got it's normal. like normal. you think every every time ed sheeran gets out of bed and scratches his hole he make like you know, he's like I've got I've got to go to Poland set bro seventy eight thousand people 
nuts like and then he just pops home and then he does that fucking you know 500 more times over the next year how popular absolutely and he's got nothing you know that's why a lot of money goes into the production kind of because it yeah. is just it is just it's, it's actually quite impressive like he's yeah. just up there with a wee loop pedal i know and he does he's no katie him. tonsil <laughs> <laughs> he's no natasha sultanas or whatever her name is <laughs> You know when you bring a loop pedal out, you're like, guys, are you ready to rock <laughs> in, f- in about a m- 90 seconds? <laughs> ching, ching. Yeah, you know, it's like fucking, we're getting there. We're getting there. Hi, long. <laughs> You know, it's like fucking, you gotta make a goddamn no. song every time. <laughs> yeah. He's like, it's just me up there, no backing tracks, two hours long, we get through four songs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could have prepared this beforehand, yeah. but no. And then it goes, and then it's deleted every night. Bro, don't delete it. Yeah, you could just keep it. You could go out the next night and do an hour and 10 minutes, it'd be grand. Just get ripped through it, man. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Tinkering away with your fucking bits. Are you still with me, Poland? I <laughs> oh, fucked it up. Hold on. Delete that. One minute. One minute. These watches don't pay for themselves, lad. <laughs> <laughs> Clacking his Invisalign together. I feel like... I feel like... <laughs> I feel like Blind Boy now, you know? <laughs> it's like, I don't have my rock arena. Let me just rub my nuts around a fucking wine glass. <laughs> <laughs> Worth the ticket money. <laughs> Worth the ticket <laughs> Thank you, Albania. <laughs> just, a, just a wee carry your bag of stuff up on the stage. <laughs> yeah, the way Kieran Barton turns up the laveries <laughs> with a centre bag for the... <laughs> I love the way... I love the way Kieran Barton oh, is a... Oh, my God. ...professional comedian who... You, you know, uses a guitar every time. And yeah. he said he's had one jack lead for like fucking <laughs> since the dawn yeah. of time. He'd be um, on the phone to, you know, Chloe, like, can you bring the cable I have? Uh-huh. <laughs> when I do fucking nine gigs a week, can you bring the cable? <laughs> Guys have cables hanging off him. Anyway, don't even start me. <clears throat> <laughs> anyway, um, but no, it was, it's fun to watch a good documentary. Watch no, the, it's watch good thing. to see people do well. It's good. It's, it's fantastic. And, and just to see how it's the same problems the whole way up this the whole way yeah. up the ladder and he's just you know he has the, you know i was watching it going i do i do them same, same things with a much less expensive watch yeah um haven't done that many gigs in poland either but uh <laughs> but apart from that bonjour poland exactly the same exactly the same uh yeah oh, oh. it was good okay oh, no it was a good wee documentary like it's nice to watch things like that it's great we we, we tried to, this is what happened the other night at your mum's party. I was like, right, I'm going to go home at a half civilized hour. I'm going to go home <clears> too. <throat> mm-hmm. And then the discussion with you, whether or not you should go home, took about 45 minutes. So by the time we got up, it was three o'clock and then we had ham, cheese, toasties. Yeah. Watched the first part of the Ed Sheeran documentary. And sure, wasn't it four anyway? I should have drank I on. Know, I know. Always happens. I had one of those nights. Do you ever have these now where you can't get drunk? Yes. I, you see, it's. I think it's on the beer. On the on the beer, lad. I I think it's the fucking. It's the anticipation. I think it's because yeah. we knew we were gonna be drinking. Yeah, and then you start pacing yourself, but then you end up just being really able to tolerate it a lot more than you think. Yeah, I I couldn't. I was I was drinking all sorts of shit. Beer, double KD, some other shit, a seltzer. Back on the beer. Oh, you yeah, w, uh, yeah, you had WKD in your hand. I was like, where? I'm when, bring, I'm bringing how? it back. WKD, reach <clears> out. <throat> the Iron Brew one is a fun. People are you know running around going like, where do I buy white claws? Nah, fuck that. Give me a yeah, give me an the orange next day, WKD. You're always like, oh my god, I've got such a sore head and my eyes twitching. I'm like, you're drinking orange fizzy alcohol. But of I course do. That's, it is. That, uh, the eye twitch is <clears> constant. Now. That happens to me all, all day. Well, stop drinking WKDs and see what happens. I mean, I've quite literally had four probably in the last. Ten oh. years. Oh, look at that! Oh, you oh of fucking them. yeah, whatever. But yeah, I couldn't get drunk at all. I should have just not drank. But then you got to catch me by by <clears> surprise <throat> because the day we watched the Formula <clears throat> One, sure didn't get absolutely fucking emptied. Drank yeah. a drank a whole bottle of Bullet whiskey. Thought it was in Yellowstone. See, maybe it's a predictability thing. Like when you know what's a party drinking, you're like, nah, whatever. But if it's like something that there was no plan of drinking, mm-hmm. you can go full like well, yeah, eighteen year old rugby. 
player again. You it, know, it, it makes me. It's more exciting to be like, oh, this wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, yeah. You know, I wow. should get into shoplifting. <laughs> yeah, why not? Anyway. In a spare time, yeah. The uh, oh, seven minutes away. <laughs> we uh, we had the party. Obviously, it was uh, well worth me not going to Austin for. It was fantastic. Um, no, it was good, wasn't it? You can go to Austin any yeah, time, but when? You know what I mean? When? Uh, although to be fair, like Anytime. like I was uh, like I'm not even joking. All the every time Aaron was on the phone, I was like, that sounds like an absolute hellscape. Um, <laughs> you were, yeah, exactly. It would have just been news watching Aaron drink to four, being upset. Now, do we do we launch this thing here? What? We wanted oh. to just run through a little bit of a feature that Maureen did for her mum's birthday, which I think is quite universal. We'll all have a real laugh. Um, do you think this is a disorder? You you can skip the first bit. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> I think this is probably everyone has experienced this with their parents where their mother mainly <clears throat> uh, just tries to describe someone or something and says it wrong. I feel like everyone's parents said this at some point, but like my mother in particular says things that you're like, I don't actually know what you're talking about. And she will with full conviction be like, yeah, you know the thing that's this. And it's like, what my, what are you actually talking about? And then when you find it out. So we just we just compiled a list over years and years of like, this is only a small selection of them, of things that she said that were like, what, what on earth? And it's almost like we say it's like a different language. I'm going to test this on Niall, but he can see it also. <coughs> he can see the previews. Yeah. <clears throat> so number one, chipolatas. So she was talking about chipolatas, describing something, and then what she actually meant, obviously, was gelato. <laughs> and this is just heating you up. You know what I mean? This gelato. is gelato. So she was trying to describe gelato and was saying the word chipolatas. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you're the sometimes woman... going, "What are you <clears throat> actually like? What are you like? You? She's not saying the words wrong, like." She's not making up words, but they're just like, I don't understand where you... But, it, you know, you can normally figure them out now, which is funny. You start to get to know what she means. We've got a picture of a tram stamp here. Yeah. And she called it... We sh uh, Should we have some music in the background? Yeah, if you want to. I, I think we should have some music in the background. Okay, let's pause it. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright it. Yeah, okay, I just can't. <clears throat> uh, let, let's go for... Put on part of the concourse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean YouTube.com let's, let's just get some elevator music shall we guys we're just taking a quick break from the podcast to mention our sponsor the Calm app in today's fast paced world taking care of your mental health is more important than ever if you're looking to reduce stress increase mindfulness and improve your overall well being you need Calm Calm helps you stress less sleep more and live a happier healthier life Calm recognises that everyone faces unique challenges in their daily lives that mental health needs differ from person to person and that time for meditation may vary. And since self practices are so deeply personal, Calm strives to provide the content that caters to everyone's preference and needs. Their meditations range from focuses on anxiety, distress, self care and inner peace. They have sleep stories, relaxing music tracks and daily movement sessions, all designed to give you the tools to improve the way you feel. They even have expert led talks on topics such as tips for overcoming stress handy anxiety handling grief improving self-esteem caring for relationships and more everything you need to prioritize your mental health and wellness is on calm if you go to calm.com slash banter you'll get a special offer of 40 percent off your calm premium subscription and new content is added every single week so that's calm.com slash banter to get 40 percent off your subscription be calm, my guys. Now back to the podcast. Brilliant. That's what we want. Oh, that's quite nice. Isn't it? Now, welcome back to Maureen's Mum Says Things Weird. Whilst a sandwich we've ordered is five minutes away, I've never felt pressure like it in my life. Um, so yeah, the classics. Tramp stamp, she was trying to say. She what was did trying she, to say tramp stamp. What obviously. did she say? For three points, bitch stamp. Bitch stamp. Hilarious. She genuinely called it a bitch stamp. Start, was he in High School Musical? <clears throat> We've just ruined it already. Yes. I've ruined it already. Collins, you, right, let me play the game. Star of High School <laughs> Musical, Ben, ben Saffron. Ben Saffron. I'm swapping seats, but you sit here. You, you right. control it. Leave it all in. Leave it in. Oh, it's so funny. It is. 
The atmosphere's in the headphones. Oh, here, there's some divot in this seat. Oh, this one's slippery. This is flat. Oh, am I, I like am this. I, am I in shot now? Do I just press this? <laughs> am I in shot? Not at all. <laughs> that's good. Down or up? Uh, that's it. Yeah. Do I press this button? Uh, no, you go to next on the okay. little arrow. Uh, so, yeah. Welcome to my new presenter, Maureen. Oh, just, just do the Sorry. thing. Okay. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, right. she was trying to describe Zach Efron. Three minutes for this. Yep. This one? Yep. Libus? Libus. Who was she referring to? Of course, Idris, Idris Elba. Elba. <laughs> and she wants... We actually watched it. Can I turn it down a bit? She... Let's do nothing. She... Uh, we watched Luther. And we came... We were on holidays. We watched Luther. And we're like, Mommy, watch Luther. It's really good. So she watched it. And then was like, This is weird. Colin doesn't normally like things like this. I can't believe he would recommend this. And we're like, Why? It's amazing. She actually had watched Lucifer. <laughs> And it's all about demons and like the devil and stuff. And she's like, what? What are you talking about? There you go. Next one I is- I had to make that for this presentation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bloomin' Hessenthal. <laughs> Bloomin' Hessenthal, which is, of course, Hessen. <laughs> it is, you couldn't Heston. even say it right. You had to, you had to taper <laughs> that off. Of course you meant Heston. Let me hear. Uh, and then obviously, we have Sasha Karen Bowen. <laughs> star of? Star of Borax. <laughs> <laughs> the woman needs section. <laughs> oh. uh, and then with, again, full conviction in her voice, remember, Weasel Nuts. Yeah. She was talking about something called Weasel Nuts. And we're like, what are you talking about? She's like, you know Weasel Nuts and this and that. Weasel Nuts Almonds. She meant almonds. <laughs> and she said Weasel Nuts. <laughs> Where Did she mean like hazelnuts or something? Was she tr Call, I don't know, but she said weasel nuts. <sighs> Cumberland butchery. <laughs> which is obviously Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> but Cumberland butchery. So she just went, that sounds a bit like sausages, doesn't it? It's, I mean, we were making fun of her before, but in, in fairness, Benedict Cumberbatch it's, is the fucking stupidest name of all time. I, think, I do think Cumberland butchery is a better name. Anyway. His name might as well be stiff upper fucking colonizational English uh, fucking mustache. mash on toast. <clears throat> Crash and smash. Fast and furious. <laughs> so she just calls it Crash and smash, which is all right. Say what you see. Keanu Reeves. Talking about Keanu Reeves. Talking about Keanu Reeves' new single, because obviously she made Kanye West. Yeah. Can you believe Ke Keanu Reeves done a song with Paul with McCartney? With Paul McCartney, that's what she said. Can you believe Ke Keanu Reeves and Paul McCartney? You keep talking there more in my sandwiches here. Okay. You finished She the, you um, finish. went to McDonald's one day and asked for a Galaxy McRipple. An actual Galaxy McRipple. <laughs> uh, Sidekick Joe, which obviously she meant Sideshow Bob. <laughs> um, Jim <laughs> Hillman. Jim Hillman, guys, which is obviously Tim Henman. But again, but like it's, it's probably because like Henman Hill, I don't know, Jim Hillman. Oh, there's his phone ringing. This is absolutely... Crazy. I've got to let down now. There we go. Uh, Bonita Von Cheese, which is obviously, of course, Dita Von Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Aztec Prime. Like, loads of people were like trying to guess, is what you mean. Aztec Prime. She actually meant Optimus Prime. So she'd just be talking about Transformers being like, you know, Aztec Prime. Trani Dupal. I mean, it's self explanatory, obviously, but there you go. Uh, she also said to us, can you peel those guacamoles? Which actually was avocado, so she actually just says, she just calls them guacamoles now, which is actually kind of nice, actually, to be fair, like just peel those guacamoles. Uh, and then I made this, uh, now you're proud of me, Adrian Lincoln. Nice. Yeah, so I thought I'd make like a poster there. So yeah, she called him Adrian Lincoln, which I actually kind of love. Um, and then she was talking, <laughs> Elaine Page. Oh, there we go, got our sandwiches. Elaine Page, do you remember this was called? Elaine Page. Which is again an actual person, like Elaine Page. Elaine Payne. Payne. <laughs> to be fair with all the new facial things, yeah. Elaine Payne. And then I was like, who's this? So that is, of course. R Rita Ora. Rita Ora. She called her Rita Duckworth, <laughs> which is up on Portation Street. And then <laughs> this this is definitely one of my favourite ones. Joanna Lumley's writings. Like she was describing a film 
and it was do you want you know Joanna Lumley's writings? We're like, me, what do you what do you mean? You know that film and it's Joanna Lumley's it's something about Joanna Lumley's writings and we're like, she did documentaries about things like what do you mean? I know she went to this and she's like, No, you know that film and she did I'm like what? So she actually meant Bridget Jones's diary. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I mean Like So anyway, that's my favourite. And then this was an actual conversation she had. So she did it's a movie with Chris Rock and Chandler. <laughs> So then we said Chandler from Friends no he's in that movie I'm your caddy <laughs> happy Gilmore <laughs> and she went oh, and then we said Adam Sandler she said yes so she meant <laughs> Adam Sandler Not, and she just abbreviated it to Chandler do you, know, do you know what that's like that's like when they release a movie in like Japan and, they, like, <laughs> yeah. and they're like what's what is Happy Gilmore you know so they have to yeah. call it like very little so instead of I'm your caddy never ever will I say Happy Gilmore anymore it's I'm your caddy let me ask yeah it's just like but I mean yeah so Shander so everything's just like squished together mixed this is, a bite and then comes back out of her mouth and you kind of go okay but now she says things we understand what she means oh yeah the, the bad sign is when when you, you start to like, be able oh, to you're, decipher you're, what she means yeah. Yeah, when she says, like, you know, yeah, a song with Keanu Reeves, like, oh, you mean Kanye West, right? Yeah, yeah you don't even bother correcting her now. Oh, but she also said that one because I had that, uh, like, a weaning book for Eddie. Weaning? We- weaning 15. And she's like, you know that we, that, what's that book again? She was going to maybe get it for someone or, like, borrow it or something. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that book. She was, you know, you know weaning 15, that John Wick book, John Wick, <laughs> weaning 15. And we're like, it's Joe Wicks because John Wick is a fictional character. You know John Wick played by Kanye West. Oh, yeah. You know Kanye West and John Wick does the, all the baby food. What? Yeah. But we actually I forgot that poster. You've made a poster of that as well. What was that? The Wayne and 15 one with Wayne John Wick. 15, it was actually really right. funny. It's so fun. Yeah. I mean, it's one of these things you start off, we're having a laugh, and then at a certain point you go like, are we mocking someone with a learning difficulty? No, she's not got learning difficulty, but that's just what happens to women at a certain age, you know what I mean? All your hormones. That's what I was thinking. Do you, do you just snapped. start, do you, if you keep having children, do you, do you just lose your mind? Yeah, you do lose your mind. Yeah. But also, any women who are like menopausal age and you've had a lot of children, your brain just goes, we don't need you anymore. You're done. You're husk now. Your brain is now mashed potatoes. <laughs> Good luck with that. And then you try and say things. So, not only is society telling you you have no place or point. Yeah, 100%. Your own body. Oh telling my god, you I've got too. the worst brain fog as well. Like, I can't remember things now either. I'm like, what? What was I trying to. Like, won't I say that to you? I'm like, I was trying to say something. I don't know what that word is anymore. So I'll try and make up things too. I have. I have. Starting, I have starting, it's really bad. I have a couple of words. There was a word I was trying to remember one day and I couldn't put my finger on it, right? And sometimes to test my brain, I will remind myself to remember that one word. Oh, really? What is it? Obsolete. I don't remember it right now, but I remember trying to figure. I remember going, "What's the word when it's like you fucking don't need a thing?" What is that? Like sixty-year-old women, obsolete. Uh, uh, you know, I was like, "What is that fucking word?" Obsolete, but yeah. now sometimes I will just be like, "Can it?" I'll have full-blown dementia at some point, and I'll, you'll walk in the room, and I'll just be going, "Absolute, absolute, absolute." Trying can to remember. Cuts, it. Can I cut? Can I cut? Can I cut? Who was that from? Hey, that, that film. Uh, oh my god! Don't look. I'm going to. I'm doing it right can now. Cut, I, what is that from? I don't. I don't remember what it was. It's a film with like a cross on the woman's lips or something. Like, oh yeah, what is one of those one? shitty fucking horror movies. Where she's in like a mental hospital and then there's like some mad woman in a room just going, can I cut, can I cut? Because she's all like cross cuts. I yeah. don't know, that's why I remember from the film. Obviously made an impression. Was it the, f- the French one, like the Paris one? Con. There's like it something going on in Paris. Anything. It could be anything. It could be Toy Story 3. I'd swap back there, show you some horrific videos. Oh Jesus. What is it? Just huh? Keep it all in. On you go. Okay. Now they want you to leave every uh-huh. second of that in. <laughs> the weirdest crossover of all time. Well, well done, well done worth your presentation. That's yeah, well, you left me, so I had to do a presentation to myself. I didn't... Well, oh, I here am. we go. I, this is... Uh, I, I, my life basically so, is saying... Su- no. Suggesting a thing that, nope. you, that you're not thinking of, and because I haven't guessed the right thing, you're angry at me then. Yeah, welcome to knowing a woman. <laughs> I've told you already We're mentally ill Catch and obsolete up. Catch up Hey, welcome back to Women are Mental uh-uh. Admittedly With me No well, You're definitely the more mental one in this relationship You can't pass that on to me All of the stereotypes in our house are the opposite way around I remember whenever I Like that night we, you were like Oh, how are we going to get everyone gathered around to watch this presentation And I went Well, sure everyone Like just Oh yeah 
just threw it out there. Sound like Sebastian Maskov. I just threw it out. I just went, well, most people will be here tomorrow if you want to do it tomorrow. And you're like, why would I do it tomorrow? And then you, and then you well, left. Right. You When you prepare something for <coughs> someone's birthday party and you went, yeah. why don't you just do it tomorrow? You're like, what do you mean do it tomorrow? But it was the... Listen. That doesn't make any sense. It was a celebration week. I was, I was like, Calm. do it whenever. You two WKDs and you're all like sassy and like, oh, I'm kind of this and that. Do it tomorrow. Do it tomorrow. Sure. She says do it tomorrow. Me? At a party. At someone's actual 60th birthday party. Do that thing tomorrow. It's fine. Who? Why have a cake now? What are you showing me? Nothing. 1am at a bar in Kentucky. He's got his hand up this girl's stink. Fuck yeah, bro. Stop it. By the way, who shot this? Fucking John Woo. Look at the angle. They've got it from every angle. <laughs> oh, <Ooh>. Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Jesus, I was fucking Dog the Bounty Hunter getting fucking <laughs> doggy styled in the fucking goddamn. So if you're listening via audio, there's a couple in a bar in Kentucky who just couldn't keep their hands off themselves. And then I cut hard to that. Stephen Brown of Glasgow. I wonder, is there a place in Kentucky called Glasgow? Or is that I guy like, is, I'm just yeah. going to fucking stick it <laughs> up your ass in this bar here. And Shonda Clark's like, go ahead, Stephen. I say, I've had a couple of shandies. I'm stiff. But the, it's just that it wasn't even like, you know, oh, are they? Are they? Are they not? It's like, he's literally got his trousers on the floor and he's behind her. Like, it's not even, it's as, as if they think that they're not in a bar. <laughs> like, it's not even. Well, you know, I listened to that latest Stephen Bartlett podcast with so that sex, sex, sex expert, you know, and she's like, you got to keep it exciting. There you go. Maybe you got to have erotic her. sex in weird places. <laughs> and, and maybe he just listened to fucking Stephen Bartlett. Okay. <laughs> like, listen, Shonda, I've just listened to Stevie Bartlett there. And this, this Australian woman was like, we should probably be having sex in exciting places now, so... <laughs> No time like the present. <coughs> I'm waiting for this Guinness to settle here. With a couple of minutes, I've already fingered the box clear off you. Uh, do we go for it? <laughs> oh my God. There's, it's dark in here. There's hardly anyone watching and I'll just fire it into you. Do you like that? No, can't be salt. I, I know. I just... Yeah, I know. What would you do if you saw that in a bar? Start masturbating. But no, more. why'd I say that? Um, what I would mean, I do? I would do, would do? I would do what obviously four hundred people did there, which is film it and have it for a, a lot of coverage from every angle. You know, pow, 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 pow. Have you ever seen people boning in public? No, no, I don't think so. Would you be in a bit of public boning? Would you be? In that? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. No. <laughs> you want to go out in this car park and uh, go at it? No, I can't. I can't see myself doing that. I wasn't even someone who could like, you know, you know, as like girls like get up at like a bus going somewhere and go to the toilet on the side of the road. I'm like, I can't even do that. Well, you can't even go on the side of the road. Don't not a fan. Like, no. You know what I mean? I can't. I just. I'm like, why would you do that? Just gonna piss yourself. Have you seen the video of there was like, like urinals somewhere and uh, there was a girl who was just like, I can't wait, and she just went in and stood, did a stand up piss in the urinal like everyone else. And like the dudes beside her, just like, God damn, what's going like on? Like forwards? Yeah, she just straddled it and was just pissing forward. I mean, if you gotta go, you gotta go. Like obviously, but could you get any projection on that? Yeah. Yeah. It depends. Like, do they come out a bit? Like, yeah, come out. As long as you're on top of it, you'd be fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's different. If it was like flat against the wall. Would be fine. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be. I mean, talk about stage fright. You know, if you're just like, ah, oh, I'm just enjoying this piss. I've had a bunch of pints. You turn around, there's just a girl going, <laughs> just hissing into a bowl. <laughs> Yeah, it's normally just the clothes thing would be the thing with the girls, you know what I mean? You can't be doing that in a play suit. What are we, what are we, what are we talking about when uh, you hear the loud hiss from a woman's, you know, a, a guy will just piss in silence and a girl sounds like a tire going down? <laughs> like, guys do not piss in silence because you're doing it from afar and it's like... <laughs> well, I haven't stood up like, and pissed in decades now, like, since the invention of this bad boy. <laughs> I don't know how to stand and piss. I've said this many times before, it is, it is, uh... It is very, uh, what's the word, like overconfident of a man yeah. to just be like standing Eddie up. Eddie stands up in peace, which is kind of funny because all other wee boys, he just sit down and he won't, he stands up uh, and he purely like, sticks his belly out. Oh, 
He's like, oh. yeah, he pisses, he pisses like, like a, like a drunk man who's, and he goes, ah. yeah, and then he pisses I like an old boy in an alleyway sure down the side of a fucking working men's club. I have taught him to, to dry a toilet seat and all, <laughs> he piddles on it. Yeah. So that's my thing. I was like, you cannot piddle on a toilet seat. Yeah, I mean, that needs knocked out of young boys. Well, I, but he did do it because remember the other day, because he's got this thing now where he won't even want us to go to the toilet with him. He's like, no, don't come in with me. I'm going myself. So like, okay, so you're just like standing back in case he like touches something like bleach or something. And uh, it's so funny, isn't it? And he goes and gets his toilet rolling on and he cleans the toilet and flushes the toilet. Because he gets up and he goes he to pee. Him. And then he, as soon as he starts peeing, he just is like, yeah, he looks away. You know, he's looking sure. around himself and it's just going everywhere. Yeah, I'm like, hold it. Aim it. I'm trying to be like, aim it in the water. Yeah. And he's, just and he's like, like nah, bro. <laughs> nah, I won't be aiming it for it. Yeah, he's just like, as soon as I'm going, I'm going. I'll piss wherever I want. Uh, funny. Someone sent this in this little thing here. Girlfriend shares boyfriend's weird sleeping habit. That's serial killer behavior. Oh, a woman revealed her boyfriend sets unusual alarms in the morning. She's not sure if his behavior is normal. A young man has revealed her a, sorry a young woman has revealed her boyfriend's weird sleeping habit only only to be warned it's serial killer behavior um speaking to a popular podcast uh karina has been with her boyfriend for a few months really sets his morning alarm hours early everyone is familiar with the relief comes with realizing uh, oh, so he sets the alarm early so that he wakes himself up to know that he's as long as up 3 a.m every single night she said and then he just rolls over and goes back to sleep until five yeah, that is a psycho. I, I get it. Like I, I get it too. I but like not three a.m. Like you can do it if it's like okay. But he I is getting up at five. Hmm. Okay, if you get on five, yeah. I suppose. Well, yeah, I suppose then. Because if you're getting up at like seven, but you like set it for six or half five to be like, I'm gonna set it early so I can like relax for a minute. I rem- I can remember doing that at school to be honest. But that just seems so early because he's getting up at five, so that just seems pointless then. Yeah. I can remember I can remember doing it for school where I would set it early really? and then just like that oh, but only like half an hour and then just be like oh this is great I'm just lying here for a minute. Yeah, I would do that. I would like honestly I would have to set an alarm an hour and a half before I need to get up because I just won't. But you don't do that anymore. What? Set it an hour and a half before you get up. No, because I've got Eddie to do that. Yeah. Mommy. <laughs> Speaking of um you know Mommy, it's very dark out here. Okay, come in. <laughs> our good friend uh Dutch Frank, he his weird sleeping patterns with the hairdryer. Yeah, he likes the hairdryer. Right in this guy's uh on weird sleeping patterns. Oh eight hundred in patreon.com for such a matter. Do you do anything weird to go to sleep? Because Dutch Frank will put a full blown hairdryer in his face till he yeah. goes to sleep, which he likes is the not, heat and the noise. Is that he likes the heat and the noise. That, that that's mental. That's actually mental, like but it does show how, like, you can just... Speak of the devil! Aaron? Will I answer this? Aaron is... Oh, right. Go on. Aaron, you're live on the uh, General Banter podcast. How are you? Hello, sir. I am just currently on my way back to Oma Town. Are you only getting back to Oma now? Uh... Jesus Christ, you'll be in some neck the night. She's been a long time now. Oh, he's been on the road. How the road dog? Road dog. At yeah. least them nuts are empty on that flight. Woof, woof. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Well, come here. I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you an L bell when you're off in the air. Okay. Uh, never done casting. Never done uh, casting, aye. Someone was fucking work for a living around here. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no, no well, sure, I'll give you a bell after let you go know, with bus tapes, etc. All right, no bother, doll. No bother. You enjoy yourself, mate. Get home and get get home and get in your side, good man. Look after you. Zero. Oh, to be young again. Oh. Thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck sick. Um, right, uh, how long have we talked for now? Have we? Uh, 50. 50. I want to show have a couple more videos. I want to show you more. Um, God damn it. Accept all. I think this guy, this is solving a lot of problems, you know, and I, I'm mainly playing this to point out the fact that anytime I've been, I've done a an Asian voice. Yeah. This is the backup from Asians. How fucking accurate I am. Okay, this guy breaks down phonetically all, all the Asian sounds. Okay. And this is this is giving me an arsenal of things to use next time I'm on stage, ready? Right? 
you phonetically the Asians, okay? okay. Yes. <laughs> Vietnamese. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Yeah. And then like Thai. Who's <laughs> <laughs> Korean? Is oh. okay, 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 yeah, yeah. Chinese. Are... <laughs> or Cantonese. <laughs> Holy oh, shit, yeah. dude. What's Filipino? <laughs> there <it is. laughs> And the Japanese is interesting because there's two. Oh, yeah. You see, I like that. Or there's a I like that. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Now, I'm pretty sure you could add a, a, to see a montage together from <laughs> from the Jenner Banta podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's totally accurate. Yeah. yeah, it is true. If you've actually be, if you've ever traveled anywhere in Asia, like there's such a big difference. Even like like Vietnamese, that is how the language sounds. Like. Yeah, it sounds like the Asians. Okay. So like <laughs> yes. Vietnamese. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Of, uh, you know, a lot of that shit. Because even like obviously Sean Vietnamese. <laughs> Man of Vietnam. 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 Yeah, man of Vietnam. Yeah, it's like, uh, like Vietnam, and it's like Vietnam, you don't say. Yeah. You don't it's say all very Vietnam. Like, it's, it's, it's all very Vietnam. Very stabby. Yeah, very stabby. Yeah. I've said it before, but the, the thing that freaks me out the most about it is the fact that you could have, what was it like the the chicken like full ga, but depending yeah. on what tone you say the ga ga like that, it means a different thing. Yeah. Which is a fucking nightmare. Like you could be sitting, yeah. you could be saying to someone like, I don't know what the other ga meant, but it was like. So it was like fucking Trump, Trump or Sarma. <laughs> <laughs> you got watch the guy, but you could be saying something like, "Can I have a bowl of cars?" And they'd be going, "What?" And then you'd be like, "Chicken soup." And they'd be like, "Yeah, oh. how you emphasize?" But it's this, them? yeah. But then that's in the English language too. Yeah, yeah. like what? There's loads of words like that. I suppose it maybe just like questions and stuff. It's actually worse in English because it's like you know you can have like bear, bear. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There, there, there. Like they're all three words that mean different things. I you should know? do. I should do the English version of that. What does that go? Well, it's like you can do like there, that. There, there, there. <laughs> and all, you know, all my white friends. Can you are do laughing. a good troll accent yet? Well, there's so many of them. I know that's the like there's fucking everyone. There's <laughs> yeah. there's, there's like there, there's different troll accents in your, in our immediate in like your immediate family. Yeah, if you think of like even like Straban, Oma, Dungannon. Mm -hmm. Or my, well, our mouths obviously not in front, but like, yeah, like they're there's all lot, so different. There's a lot of different ones, yeah, yeah, but they're all cultures to me, Maureen. I know, did they all sense into you? A load of <laughs> fucking pig fuckers. <laughs> now, that noise is familiar to me because I have watched a few like Thai fights online and they'll have that mad fucking like whistly thing playing in the background. I don't know what the fuck instrument that is. And there's boys like fucking Thai boxing and they've got that and there's a snake coming out of a fucking basket and then a lot of that chatter there. Who's the you know what I mean? A lot of that shouting from the side of the ring. Right, I think we have to stop this right now. Why? <laughs> this is great and informational for me. If no one else is watching this video, it's not going to ah, seem good. Shut up. This is what they're here for. Now here's a video. He shit there. What? Watch her butt. Ah, uh, clap. She just did a shit. Why? I don't know. I haven't vetted these videos at all. I just thought I would show you that. What uh, sort of state of mind is someone in when they just shit like that? Are they mentally ill or do they just really need a shit? I think you have to. I don't. You have to be mentally ill because there's no way you can shit standing up and just do it in the shop without your body going. I can't do this because even toddlers get embarrassed. Yeah, and they go, "Don't look at me! Like yeah. I'm gonna hide even behind a door even here dogs, to go to the toilet." Dogs get embarrassed. Dogs don't let people watch them. Toddlers in like when they start to get aware of their body in like a nappy, they'll still even if they're still in a nappy, they'll still like hide behind a door or something. Yeah. Or like even Eddie now starts wanting privacy in the toilet. Like so, there's no way your body. Lets Eddie's you in do the that. distraction game. Daddy, what, what look that? over there. He's look look over there. Oh my god, it's a dinosaur. <laughs> it's just na natural. But also, like, if, if you're someone... vulnerable, that's why. Because you're vulnerable if you're shitting. 
if that was on CCTV and someone just went like oh, on their belly and then just had like horrific diarrhea, yeah, that's of it, fine. Yeah, because then it's like an accident. She just had a regular old shit. You couldn't that's have went like, to the toilet. That looks like they've wanted to try and do that. Do you know yeah. what I mean? That they've went, do you know, be like you know, like a weird like just thing that gets them off. Yeah. Like I'm gonna shit in here and someone has to clean it up. People are into some weird stuff. But I just feel, I just think of like the shop owner being like, they have to go clean up someone else's human shit. Like, I know, no leave. one needs that in their day. I'd absolutely walk out. I'm just going to watch this clip. I don't know what it is. I don't, do I want to watch it? <laughs> what, start Philly? It's only half <laughs> in the stingies. This is from here, isn't it? What's happened? I don't want to watch it. Fellas, <laughs> run and jump like fuck. Run! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's not making me run like fuck. I can't believe he did that. No joke, I still can't believe he did that. Take off the top! Have you watched this yet? No. <laughs> We're learning on the move. Fellas, take off the top! Come on! Does it? Oh, oh like hey, I'm not. I'm not gonna get swapped. Build the one. Like run, like fuck. One, two, three. I am swallowed. Go on, you hoe. Get that on the bomb squad buttons. <laughs> Go on, you hoe. <laughs> These are just some, uh, just some. Is that a Tyrone accent? <laughs> I don't think so, is it? No. Can't beat the water spray. I don't know what happens after this. Does she fall and die or something? One, right, well, let's not watch it. Three. Oh, she just broke her legs. I think you landed in a bit of a stone there, did you? I You almost flopped a stone. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't help her or nothing. Yeah. You don't actually play. <laughs> and freeze them. Can oh, I? <laughs> God. Sorry, yeah. I don't want to leave this. Can I jump in? <laughs> no. Yeah, it was worth it in the end. She, oh, my. They're jumping in the water, and this girl just jumps in. And it's, on and it's, and it's about a foot deep. Oh. No. And then she's about two foot fucking. Motherfucker. One. Oh, God. Three. Three. Oh man, that's a nightmare. <laughs> that's a bit like the wrestling video where the person just broke their fucking feet. Uh, fuck. So you know when you hear people going like to any drunk doing something stupid, this is this is what they mean, isn't it? Oh my I think you god! A bit of a stone there. <laughs> <laughs> she's that's a, that's that, I feel like that's definitely a thrown accent there. Uh, she's getting two legs removed. Like, ah, you landed a bit of a stone there, did you? You fucking hoe! You fucking stupid hoe! <laughs> I, I actually seen a video oh, one time that was like top Christ. five or like top ten things to like avoid from a like A and E doctor. Oh really? And they were like, "Don't put your feet on the dashboard when you're driving because oh, yeah, you know they like break and you just you go, you, you fucking eat your own shins. Uh, oh. Don't jump in the water that you don't know the depth of. Yeah, I can't remember what the rest of them were, but there was a, there was a load of very basic ones like. But that's like all that they see all day. Don't go in a pen with a cow. You know, shit like that. It's just all farmers getting mushed by cows. Oh it's all gosh. silly hoes like this jumping in the water. Hey, bro, what my fucking ankles say? <laughs> Is that like a Nuri accent? Yeah, it sounds a bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, could be. Could be that or like Bally Castle or something. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Tsunami. <laughs> That's horrible. Fuck up my ankles. Fuck up my ankles. Your mom. Your mom will be doing this fucking day. Uh, oh fuck on a bike. Get out of bed at fucking 5 a.m. <laughs> then I jump in the fucking water. <laughs> That's who it is. Breaking your fucking ankles. You're just cunt. You know. <laughs> fuck on a bike. You're making some fun. Breaking your feet off. <laughs> Get fucking down to business. At least you're up early. At least you're up early. <laughs> Leaving at the fucking 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Breaking your ankles. You ever do it at six o'clock in the morning in the dark? <laughs> oh, I can't beat the water sports. Now, this is going to oh, be really no. sad. Oh, it's got 24,000 views. I, I thought it was, you know, uh, it's going to be one of those, uh, you look and it's got, you know, it's got like 14 views on it and someone's wheel. just absolutely in a, in a wheelchair for the rest of the time. Oh, dear. Anyway, 
Maureen, we'll get out of here. We'll eat this sandwich. Well, well, thanks for coming on. This podcast has been absolutely fucking demented today. But uh, we've had a great time. <laughs> Press ghost buttons. Press ghost ghost Oops. buttons. <laughs> <laughs> you got to call. Ghost buttons. Ghost buttons. <laughs> <laughs> really sad. Fred again is doing noise. Yeah. 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 Just button noises. Fred again when he doesn't have a power socket. <laughs> what do you say Fred again is AI? He is AI. There you go. Cool. cool. Uh, right, okay. we're going to get out of here. Cheers for listening. Uh, yeah, get on Patreon. Gen- gen- what is it? Patreon.com forward slash Jenna Bander podcast. Uh, I, my last episode was called Sad Klein. Uh, and then uh, we're putting another week. But now you've seen people break their legs. And now I've happy. seen people break their legs. We've got a Q&A with a lot of fun questions. Me and you'll answer. Oh, we did the Q&A. Post sandwich. And um, that's it, guys. Uh, make sure you go to... Yeah, if you want all, like a lot of people, sorry, people always ask for links, they're all on Patreon, because that's where all the questions go. And yeah, they're all, the all on Patreon. Go also go to callgabs.com, buy a ticket for Vicar Street. Vicar Street, very exciting. And we're going to have another big gig announced in, in the next while, and a few more over the water. But the boy's keeping it tight. We're taking about eight big swings, instead in of 500 tour dates. In case your balls had finally relaxed themselves. Yeah. Now on the road again right that'll do cheers speak to you speak to you next week Uh, good luck and fuck you have a nice day